Uh, Mike is a genuine brother. I mean, he's a given, a good hearted. I mean, this dude is 100% for his people. Wow. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Uh, no, he doesn't. But at the end of the day, I just thought it would be it's, it's something else. Talk Because you dealt with uh, Mike Tyson as well, just securing these premises for these well, celebrities. The best detail I ever have. Mike is a genuine brother. I mean, he's a given, a good-hearted. I mean, this dude is 100% for his people. Wow. 100%. And to show you how mind over matter when it started going bad for him and white America filed out with Don King and they was trying to slander out and he got, he laid down for two years. Mm-hmm. Guys, you could hear nothing from about Mike. Went over to Italy, started doing a show in Italy and America ain't going to let nobody outdo them. Come on back, Mike. You're a good nigga. Just stay in your place. Wow. Mike, Mike Tyson. So they they portrayed him at first like he was unintelligent, but then now you hear, uh, especially with with his podcast and everything, just he's brilliant. Like, yeah, you know. So he want every, every box is a thug, low mentality, low IQ. We don't go to prison just to be dumb. A lot of them do. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. They say if you want to keep something from a black, put it in a in book. book. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I want. This is why the prison system start changing and they got videos and they got dudes in prison don't read anymore. Give them cell phone. That cell phone is a setup. You think you can hide something in a cell? You can find them easy. So, But everybody they, have it. They're, they're because they're tracking your calls. Yeah. And they, oh, blood, what's happening? All oh, these calls are monitored. And when they get all the phone numbers, they have a sweep and take all the phones. Wow. Yeah, yeah, but like I said, I, I just appreciate you for coming on the show, man. Um, uh, I know already, me and you, we always talk, so thank you always for taking my call, respecting us, man, and coming down and blessing us, man, because you, you called me, you came, man. you always going to be a part of what we do mm-hmm. forever. I appreciate well, you. Well, well, right? Without you, before Boss Talk, didn't nobody know more. <laughs> didn't give a fuck about me. I go through the street now and I'm like, man, I know... Man, I, I was my first little. I was paranoid. Like, who I owe money to? People looking at me. Like, man, yeah, I seen you somewhere. This, this old lady <laughs> about a month ago. This old lady say, "Oh, I know you." I said, "You do? Ah, uh, ain't you that boy?" I said, "What boy? You on that social media stuff? What you doing watching?" <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.